University of British Columbia researchers have found COVID blocking properties in some things you might see in nature in BC, including sea sponges. Over the past two years, they screened compounds from plants, types of fungus, bacteria from the ground and sea. And two of the most effective compounds that prevent COVID infection were from a sea sponge and marine bacteria found in BC. It's not targeting the virus, it's targeting the cells. So that means the virus used some tools from the cells to replicate himself. Okay. So if we don't allow the cell to give this tool to the virus, it's going to stop, right? She says because the compounds target cells, this research can be used even as COVID mutates. This is why we can see that these, tool, these compounds are blocking the different variants because it's from the cells that doesn't change as quickly as the variants. She says this research could be used to develop medicine to prevent COVID infections, but it's not meant to be a vaccine replacement. The vaccine is, is important and the vaccine is going to prevent the infection of the virus. But when the vaccine are not able to prevent the infection, you need to use these antivirals when the people are already infected. So you give them to stop the infection. The latest info from the BC Centre for Disease Control says 356 people were hospitalized due to COVID-19 as of January 5th, with 25 in critical care. As the flu and RSV also continue to spread in BC, the province is reopening emergency operation centres in hospitals starting Monday. But with the latest UBC research and that magic sea sponge, there's hope more prevention against viral illnesses isn't too far away. Maybe just we need to just look in the answers in the nature that we already have. We don't need to invade new ones. In Vancouver, Sarah Chu, City News.